Um, they look to pair that with a uh, look to pair that with a trap and just just pick the tempo right up. Case in point. And there you go. Basically, as if it was scripted by manically going to be called as a foul. It doesn't matter if your feet are in the right spot, if your arms are in the wrong spot, you're going to get called for a foul just like right then. Another foul on Abby O'Flynn. And they are telling these players, if you want to set this screen, you've got to be set when the contact comes. And there is Crawshaw again, aggressive at the basket. Crawshaw sets the screen, look for the roll, look for the roll. Up, oh, it's come all the way around. K. Ruse lines up for the three, doesn't quite get it. But Crawshaw's in the, in the spot and gets the offensive rebound and the putback. You know what's going to need to do a job of, of keeping Crawshaw off the boards because right now she is she's killing them with those second chance points. And that was terrific defense by Jada Crawshaw. Can't quite get that to go. Probably not quite the elevation she was looking for on that. Crawshaw with pace right at the basket and she finishes. Just put a body in front of her and force that ball out of her hands. It was a terrific job by Leilani Mitchell to make sure that she stopped Jada on her way to the basket. But uh, again this evening. Shiley Hill with the ball, gets the pass inside to Shaw. Shaw, up, finish. Press sharp, not being able to give her any kind of open look at this basket. What a brilliant pass, brilliant pass, brilliant finish. She was able to pick up that pass while it was behind her waist.